Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's AKA Benny the Bum today. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I am excited about this broadcast. This is going to be phenomenal in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Brother Doby, God bless you. Glad to have you back on here again tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister Walker, Ruthie Walker, God bless you. I love you in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, glory, hallelujah. Amen. If I could entitle this message anything tonight, it would be called a clown for the king. Like me and brother Zoby Brenham are going live and we're bringing this organization of Christian clowns together. Amen. Me and brother Zoby. And we're thanking the Lord that other Christian clowns and other pastors are going to get on board with this organization because let me tell you if the shriners and the masons who are demonic organizations can have their satanic clowns why can we not have clowns for the king of glory the bible says to be considered a fool for the lord be thought a fool and now we're going live with brother zobe here we go go be here we go, B, with Brother Zobi. Ah! Did you hear what I said? I said, here we go, B, with Brother Zobi. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? God. In Jesus' name, this camera will not cut out again in the name of Jesus. We declare. Yes, yes, God. We, declare. we declare and decree it Ooh, in Jesus, Jesus' name. Amen. And I want you to open up this time in prayer, and then I'll follow behind you in prayer, and we're going to get started right there in prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Do I keep breaking up, or am I looking okay? Everything looks good? You look great, brother. You, you're doing great, man. I look a mess in my hair. Look. Uh -huh. I tell you what, traffic was so bad getting home, Zobi. Brother, traffic was so bad. If I was a cop, I would have arrested myself for the way I was driving. Yes, I mean, it was bad. But I tell you what, I ain't got my notes tonight. So just like the, where'd he go? Glory. All right. Uh. He ain't getting away from me that easy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I, you know, when I was calling him earlier, you know, um, the funny thing was he said, man, you look great with that makeup on. And I said, I appreciate it. I don't want to toot my own horn, but <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But vanity is fleeting. <laughs> hallelujah. But I, I just wanted to share with you tonight as we're waiting for him to come on the live screen again. He just totally shot out of there, just exited stage right or left. I don't know which way he went, but he's gone right now. But I tell you, I, I didn't have my notes tonight. So just like the angels, we're just going to wing it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Okay, it's saying he's having technical issues. So that's all right. Uh, if you get a chance, just send it through to me, and I'll just minister the best I can on here, and we're going to pray and believe God to do the rest. Amen, brother. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Well, hallelujah. Let's just get started. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Just like they say in the show business, the show must go on. So let me tell you something. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, I'm actually going to pray before we read the Bible tonight. 
Father, in the mighty, precious name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for the presence of God in this place today. Even though we may be having technical difficulties, your word is still right, and it's still for right now. Father God, I ask you to anoint the word and the speakers and, the, and everybody tuning in to this first installment of the Clown for the King in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. Now he's tuning in. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's about time, man. Don't you do that again. You went exit left or right. I don't know which way you left. But like they say with that uh, that tombstone joke, to follow you ain't my intent unless I know which way you went. <laughs> it brings up a little bit. Bit, brother. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, you there? For some reason, I don't have the best internet right now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you, but the mic sounds like it's going out a little bit, brother. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get. I was trying to get on, on my laptop. I want you to pray, and we're gonna get started in the name of Jesus, brother. All right. Looks like we already. Have had a little bit of a comedy sketch right there, didn't we, brother? Like, who's on first and who's on second? A little bit. <laughs> Amen. Praise be the Lord God. Jesus, thank you, God. Uh, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this fellowship, God. We just ask that it continues to go well, Lord. Help all the satellites connect so we can get this live and ready. And, Lord, I just pray that you help us to be just like you and walk like you and talk like you, God. We need you, God, right now in our midst. Help us to just completely be live for Facebook and to joy and happiness and laughter, God. Let there be no interruptions in the name of Jesus. God, we praise you, we thank you, we honor you. In good Jesus' name, to the mighty throne of grace, amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. praise the Lord, amen. And me and Brother Zobi are soon, in Jesus' name, going to be meeting together. Him and his lovely wife, we're all going to be meeting together. We're going to be doing some comedy acts together, and I tell you, it's just it's going to be an amazing time in the Lord when that happens. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thought I'd throw that one out there to you, brother. <laughs> Lord, see, when I'm watching, when my sinus is low today, I can't wear the nose because it's clenching on me. <laughs> Hallelujah, <laughs> Jesus. When Amen. I was watching, but when I keep watching you, know, you huh? I was just saying, when I keep watching you, you keep breaking up. Yeah, you're breaking up on that end. Oh no, we're breaking up. <laughs> ah, I'm not breaking up. Thank you, Jesus. Up. Look at this, brother. I just I, I'm just gonna minister right now and see where the Lord leads. I definitely want you to give your testimony before we close the video out in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that a joyful heart. The laughter does the heart good. That's it. Proverbs 18 says that laughter doeth the heart good as a medicine. But a wounded spirit drieth the bones. You know, there's a a lot of people out there in the church, including the church, my God, especially the church, that are dried up individuals, dead as last year's corn crop. They got a lot of people out there wanting to do things for God, but the pastors and other leaders in the church don't want them to go after their dreams. And, you know, that's one reason me and you started this organization, right, brother? Amen. Amen. Praise God. To help get young, talented clowns out there that want to do something for the Lord. Yes, sir. And when I first met you, brother, wow, like God gave me a work to do with you, brother. But praise <laughs> the Lord, He He really saw you through, and He uh, He brought you to to His side, didn't He, brother? Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember when we first met, man. I I was still living in the world. Yeah. Yep. I was like, that was a long time ago. Man, we've been friends I know for like, it. It was, but I, I was praying for you. I never years. stopped praying for you, man. Almost 10 
years you've been friends, man. Let me That's tell wild. you. Let, let me tell you. you I, I remember still the first thing you ever said to me when you heard me preach. You said, you remind me of my grandfather. Amen to that. <laughs> and I tell you what, I feel like a grandfather with his makeup on today. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Is it working good now? Hallelujah. working good. Amen. I can see you. Nothing's messing up. Amen, brother. I wonder if my Bluetooth's on. No, it ain't on. Lord have mercy. I don't have a Bluetooth. I have a black tooth. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. No, Thank I you, know. I'm playing with y'all tonight. I, I'm in a good mood. I've got my brother in the Lord here with with you. I know it's going to be an awesome program, an awesome service tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. But let me, let me tell you something. I just want to share what's on the Father's heart right quick, Zoby. Amen, brother? Amen. Come I just on. want to share what's on his heart. The reason a lot of ministers and a lot of people, lay people in the church, wear spiritual masks is because they don't, don't feel like they can be themselves in the church or around the church. Amen, brother? Amen. And I tell you, the truth of the matter is, that is the furthest thing from the truth. The church is a hospital. And what did the Bible just say? That joy doeth the heart good as a, laughter doeth the heart good as a medicine. That's what Jesus said too. He said, laughter doeth the heart good as a medicine. But we got a lot of people stuck up and dead as last year's corn crop in the church that don't know how to laugh. Amen, Not yeah. just at themselves, but at others. Like, we get so easily offended with ourselves and with others around us sometimes that it's hard to even be funny. You know, they say that, uh, brother, um, that clowns and comedians, you know, they, um, what, what the truth of the matter is that we all have... Uh, skeletons in our closet, you know, that we, we laugh and we put on this painted face to Ooh. hide behind our broken hearts. Would that's you say right. that's true? Praise God. Uh, tell you what, the stuff I've been through, I, I praise God every day that I'm still going. Hallelujah. Amen, brother. Thank you, Jesus. So, yes, you know, and I mean, we've all painted up our face once in a while in the Word, you know, in the world. You know, we... Especially as Christians, you know, we have found ourselves painted on faces, you know. Uh, there's a cast and crown song, I believe it is, Stained Glass Masquerade. We got painted faces like the Stained Glass Masquerade. Hey, Hallelujah. But you know what? It's the truth of the heart of God that he wants his people to be healed. He wants his people to laugh. He wants us to have joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen, brother. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. So, I mean, like, tell us how you came into faith in Jesus Christ. I want you to tell me a little bit well, about the world that you were in and how Jesus called you out of the world <laughs> and how he still kept you with the sense of humor. Hold on one second. I didn't mean to interrupt you. But I want, I want you to know, y'all, if God saves you and he gave you the gift of clowning and to be a comedian for him, he ain't going to take that away. He's going to intensify He's gonna the He's going to use gift. that. He's going to use that. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead Hallelujah. and give your testimony, brother. All right. Amen. Well, let's start from the way beginning, all right? When I was a little kid, um, I always I had this Sunday school teacher named Sister Sandy, man. She uh, she really, you know, took me to church, and that's how I was. She started to pick me up, and uh, I started to go to church. And then I, I went to Sunday school every Sunday, and um, I was growing up. She could just see the light and the, the happiness and the joy in my life and, and just being, you know, as a kid, you know, but... I've been through so much as a kid, but that's beside the point. But coming to Christ, you know, <laughs> coming to Christ just uh, 
has changed my life completely. And I'm like I say, starting as a kid, you know, and uh, get, and then growing up in the world, we're really well, really like tear you up, man. I mean, I used to smoke weed mm -hmm. every day. I used to, you know, watch pornography. I used to do all sorts of things that just wasn't right, you know. And uh, and then I'd ask for forgiveness. I'm I'm probably the man that's fallen, you know, seven times seven, you know, again and again and again. And I just kept getting back up, kept getting back up. I didn't it's let like the devil lead me down, you know. I had to say, God, pick me up like Peter. God, save me. Hallelujah. Like Peter. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, so I stepped, out, I stepped out of the boat, man. I mean, many, many times. And I fell. But God, take me back up. So fast, so quick. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but um, I tell you what, man, uh, I didn't get to where I am now until I found a wife, you know. And when you find a wife, you find a good thing, man. And uh, you that's, what, that's what totally has helped me. That's what totally has helped me continue to walk with Jesus on a better path, you know. Uh, me and my Jeez. wife, we met, we met in a bar one night. And... Um, I danced her off her feet and took her home. Praise the Lord. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and, and, My uh, sister Tanya and her husband met in a bar. That's wild. And yeah, man. That, and, that's and, amazing. Uh, that's, we there's another the, connection between me and you right there, brother. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, we went so, through some uh, trials and tribulations together. And uh, my dad, he went to church one day. And it was Easter Sunday, and I was, and we were just kind of a little upset because he didn't invite us to go with him, you know. Oh. I was like, why didn't you tell us about church? Of course you would have went, wanted to go to church, you know. And uh, and that was Easter Sunday. And so we were going to a church called, uh, oh, boy, this missed my mind. Uh, the, what was it called? Vineyard. Oh, the Vineyard of, of Pueblo, Colorado. That's where we met. And, uh, and we was like. Okay, what was that? Okay, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Anyways, so we was um, going there on uh, the Sunday after Easter Sunday, and uh, there was this guy who literally dropped dead right there in the middle of service. He was praising and worshiping. He dropped dead, had a heart attack. And oh, wow. that, was, that was the first day we were going to church together, me and my wife. And uh, <laughs> he fell to the ground. Oh, wow. I was what a second day, huh? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Good <luck. laughs> I was literally holding his head, you know, and there was people around me just saying, I command life back into you. I command life back into you. But this Holy Spirit was like, tell me, no, this was, is this exactly what's supposed to happen. This guy was supposed to, you know, leave the earth right here in the middle of church, you know. And then from that point on, we started to go to church together, man. And uh, we saw a lot of trials and tribulations within the church. And uh, short, short story short, we're coming to that. Um, we ended up, my son was going through stuff and we were trying to protect him through things. And, uh, then we, de then we decided that it was best for us to all of us to just move to Virginia and, uh, Lord, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. And we moved to Virginia and I mean, things have looked up more than I ever have in my entire life. I praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, uh, so now we go to a church called, um, called Faith City Alta Vista, and uh, oh my gosh, I'm a, a, a deacon, I'm an armor bearer, I take care of our bishop, you know, carry his books, whatever he needs, you know, anything he needs, and I don't, know, I don't also just do that for him, I have served anybody, I don't care where you come from, what your background is, I love you like Jesus loves, I mean it, I love like there's no other business. It don't matter what you look like. It don't matter where you came from. It don't matter who you are. I'm going to love you just like Jesus. And I mean that with all my heart. And you know, I've been, I've, let me I've add, been uh, talking you, to you. Amen. I've been talking to you. Amen. Huh? I've been, <laughs> I just said amen. Amen. So, Can you hear me? About that. I didn't mean to cut into it, but I just feel led of the Spirit right now to start telling people, you know, if Jesus can do that for you, he can hey. do it it for anybody because he's right. the, Praise God. the same yesterday today and forever god gave you an amazing <laughs> wife sarah brenham i love her god bless her god bless you i know you're hiding in the background but i love you hello <laughs> he said he loves you love you. <laughs> you know 
y'all are such a blessing in my life, brother. You really are. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. No, man. Amen. Give God all the glory. That's right. Give God all the glory. There is so many people commenting how much they love this. So, yeah, I mean, this is why we went live today. Is because, Amen. because we wanted people to see the heart of God in us and to show people what God has put us together to do in ministry together as brothers in Christ. Clown brothers at that. I mean, hey, you know, come on now. They can't drown the clown. I mean, <laughs> I can't drown the clown. Hey. I, I, I tell you, this man you might, you might is one of the most funniest guys I've ever met. And you let me tell you, when I. When I was at my lowest point, when I was at my lowest point, God sent him into my life. And when I was, when he was at his lowest point, God sent him into his, me into his life. And then at my lowest point, God sent him back into my life. So I right. love it. Thank you, yeah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. talking for, for a, a couple God of years is, or so. Like excuse three, me. That's right. A couple of three years, we stopped talking because I was going through a really bad relationship and stuff and, you know, smoking weed every single day of my life, but now I don't smoke anymore. God has completely set me free. Hallelujah. Thank oh, you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 We're going to praise God. I'm going to tell him how good he is Amen. and what his love can do for each and every one of you. I mean that God is so good. Jesus. He can save you no matter Amen. where you go. No matter where you go, he's Brother, with you. He's with you through the dark. He's even with you even more with the light. Hallelujah. Amen. I know we're getting ready to log off, but uh, I did, I know it's going to be a short video tonight, but uh, it's a, we got a story. Hey, we can go a little longer. Right now. Just, we can go a little longer if you'd like. Uh, that's, what time is it right now? It's uh, 8 12. You said you wanted right. to be on the Let's let the Holy Spirit leave. We ain't going nowhere. All right? That's it. Praise that's God. That's it. I like that. Amen, brother. Amen See, that's that. why I want to start this organization with him, y'all. Because look Amen. at this. You know, the Shriners can have their clowns and the Masons can have their clowns. God can have his clown. That's and right. I mean, the Bible says to be thought a fool for Jesus. Do you know all? Oh, wow. So people are sending requests that we do more live videos, brother. Yes, we can do this more often, yes. And uh, yes. if you feel, if you feel led. Next time. This is just a, a starter oh. pack right here. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. And uh, if you feel led within the spirit to uh, just, you know, join this video one day, you know, just uh, yeah. we can all take turns, you know, and I want to just all the clowns to get together who love Christ. And that's yes. what it's about, you know. Christ is the most important yes. thing in this world, more than anything, more than anything in this world, even especially now as we're doing it, the end times. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't believe that, yes. you better pack your bags on, and go brother. somewhere else. Because I tell you what, the you end times are I'll here. Tell you the end times are here, and we need to be ready for the Lord. Because you never yes. know when he may come. He may come tonight. He may come tomorrow. He may come in the morning. You never know. So be ready. Because he, he ain't coming like a thief in the night to those who believe. He's coming like a thief in the night for those who don't know him. And you know what? Now, brother. Go ahead and preach it, my friend. Hallelujah. Holy so, Ghost. You have, Thank you, have, you, Jesus. So if you believe in Jesus look, and you've look, given your heart, you will be in that rapture. I mean that. Man, if you truly right, believe in God, if you, give your you heart know to where Jesus, you're going, you're, you're going to be in the rapture. And if you if you're backsliding, God is so forgiving and so just and so merciful. All you need to do is turn around right now in the name of Jesus. Turn around and don't look back because God can do it for me. He can do it for you. He can do it for Henry. He can do it for anyone. So there's no excuses. All you got to do is get on your knees, confess the God, Lord, and Savior. He died on the cross and he rose again the third day. Believe in Jesus. He can change your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what I was going to do right here. We're getting ready to do it now. Here you go. Usually a clown never takes their makeup off in front of a live audience, but for this message specifically, the Lord has laid it on our hearts that's to right. take our ma our mask off in front of y'all. That's right. That way you can and see. That, go ahead. First John 1 John 1.9 says that if we confess our sins, he he is just 
and willing to forgive us of all of them and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. His blood yes, mm. takes off the mask. Amen, Brother Zobie. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So oh, go yeah, ahead and start taking away. your mask out, and we're going to get to the I got to have my wife. Oh, you already gave the altar call. You went ahead of me, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm, glory to God. I hope you've enjoyed this video, my friend. I have definitely enjoyed it. I want to say I love you all, and uh, I will take it off peacefully and wonderfully. And if you can't <laughs> see now, you will see in three, two, one. Amen, brother. See that? That's the right there. I got it. My, I got the alcohol in my eye. Now my eyes gonna be drunk. Help me, Jesus. I got alcohol in my eye. Help me, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. See, and I mean, you know, thing. one thing people need to know: we're doing clean comedy here. You know, there's That's a lot right. of people All out there you. that do a lot of dirty shows and dirty jokes, but we're the broad of this generation. Amen, brother. Amen, for real. We are. We are the broad will of this generation. And I'm just so glad that so many people actually tuned into the broadcast tonight. That that blows my mind, brother. It really does. And um, if you didn't you hear it, me like so we did face. say, we're going to get you a little mic, brother. But, uh, you know, um, <laughs> that would be awesome. Sister Rosenda is going to send us some Mary Kay products to help take the makeup off. Amen. Free Mary Kay. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, like Zoe said, if you would like to join this clown ministry for Christ, the Clowns for Christ, anybody can do it. You can join the broadcast dressed up, and we're just going to minister the gospel dressed in our clown attire. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And we're going to goof off, too. So we're going to have a little bit of fun and a whole lot of ministry in the Lord. And I'm so excited that Zobie came live with me four times tonight. <laughs> because the thing kept messing with us. So four times tonight, brother. We came live we together, go, brother. We ain't going to give the enemy any credit. This is all about Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Amen. That's right. So if you're watching us today and just like we took off our makeup, Jesus is calling you to take off your spiritual makeup. He wants you That's to right. be born again. He wants you to reach out with all of your heart, everything within you that's crying out for salvation. You you're looking for peace. You can't find it at the the end of a crack pipe and you can't find it at the end of an empty bottle. <laughs> You can only find it through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So if you're watching us today and you want to pray the prayer to know Jesus Christ, see, it's not about religion. It's about a relationship. Amen, Brother Zobi. It's about That's a relationship right. with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> you look great, Brother. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. So if you would like to know the Jesus that me and Zobi know <laughs> in a real relationship, not just religion. Yes, hallelujah. Pray this prayer with us. Everybody bow your heads and close your eyes wherever you are and pray this prayer with me and Zobi. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I come to you a sinner. I come to you a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross. I believe that you died on the cross. That God the Father raised you from the dead. Raised you from the dead. And I am saved. And I, I am saved in the name of Lord Jesus. Jesus Lord wash Jesus. me. Wash me clean. Now Cleanse God, me. You? Cleanse me, God. And fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. And fill me with your precious Holy Spirit, my God. That I Amen. might make heaven my home. In Jesus, Jesus, my God, name. hallelujah. Amen. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer with me and Zobie, I want you to write either one of us on Facebook. Let us know what you prayed that we want to celebrate with you. All of heaven is rejoicing right hey. now over your soul 
that came to the cross. Amen. This is why we do it. Because we're clowns for the king. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the name of our new organization that God has started. Clowns for the king. We're going to get some business cards, brother. Praise the Lord. I love it. Amen. Look at yeah. the cool shirt he's got on. I love it. Mine's a hobo shirt. That's why <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Some of my mentors made you the clown. Yeah. Awesome guy. He, he's all over, but he, he, he resides in Texas. I met him in Rapid City one day, and that's what led me to be a clown right there. His wow. name is Lanky the Clown. I met him at a fair, and um, he was, like, really interested. And I was like, I was even more interested, man, because he loves children, you know. And I was so interested. I said, ooh, I want to be a clown. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know where I'm going to be. I have no idea, but I am going to be the clown. He, he, uh, he, a long time ago, he, um, he put a little smiley face on my uh, – a clown wow. smiley face with a hat that he painted on my arm. And that would that that be a day I'll never forget. Lanky the Cloud, I love you. If you're watching this, I give you honor. Hallelujah. Through Amen. Christ the mighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I remember when I first uh, wanted to be a clown as well, brother. I was about seven years old, and I was going to the bank with my mom and dad, and I saw a clown across the street. I ran up to him. And he gave me a little dinosaur pocket watch, a little plastic pocket watch. And he he blessed my life. And then I got into Red Skelton and Bob Hope and all them other awesome comedians. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they loved God. I noticed that about Red Skelton. I noticed that about so many others. that They loved God. And it sparked a fire in my soul and then okay. and one of my counselors at school if you're watching god bless you i love you in elementary school she was my guidance counselor and boy did she guide me she said that um i should express myself through comedy and uh, that has made a difference in a huge way in my life i was in a shell when i was a child but Comedy brought me out of my shell. Thank you, Jesus. And as a new clown, hallelujah. I mean, I have some pretty big shoes to fill. But let me tell you something. We are standing on the shoulder of Christian giants, brother. And I Amen. tell you, I'm just so honored for everybody that prayed that prayer. My sister Tanya tuned in. God bless you. I love you, sister. Hey, Brother Barry, God bless you. I hope you all share the message. Hey, man, I hallelujah. So. Just like me and Zoby took off our clown makeup, it's time for you to take off yours, my friends. Get right. real with God, and he'll be real in you. Woo, glory to God. Amen. That'll Hallelujah. preach all over God. the place. Amen. <laughs> get real and, uh, with God, and he'll get real in you. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Ghost. I Thank just you. want to let you know, Henry, Glory that you God. are beautiful. I want to let you know that you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're wonderful. There's nothing. Every time you look at me, I want you to say you're awesome. Every time. I don't Amen. want you looking look in that mirror and think something's wrong with you. You're beautifully and wonderfully made in the name of Jesus. All right? Amen. You hear me there? <laughs> well, brother, I have enjoyed this broadcast tonight. Thank you so much for going live with me and doing the whole video and not giving up, even though Facebook kept messing with us. Thank you so much. I love you. We're going to keep doing videos just like this. So hallelujah. I I'm hoping once or twice a week we'll be going live and just doing a video that makes people laugh for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. I love y'all. God bless. Everybody, if you can, please share this message. Get the word out. We're starting a Christian clown organization called the Clowns for the Cross. Amen. Right. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank hey, you, Jesus. One more, <laughs> one more thing I wanted to let people know. Next month, the third week of June, I had to think about what next month was. Third week of June, we're having the revival hey. tent going up in Winder, Georgia. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we're going to see what God does, and we're believing for an awesome move of God in that time as well. 
and we're soon going to be using the tent for other things in God. So we're, we're just getting ready to move in the Lord, brother. Amen. That's right. Amen. I love you, brother. God bless each and every one of you. I love you. God bless. I love bye -bye. you, all Good night. Good night. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. okay. <laughs> wait a minute. I heard the Lord say, <laughs> I heard the Lord say to go back on real quick and to pray for those that need healing in their hearts. Amen. Thank on, you, Lord hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Brother, I want you to pray for that. I prayed for the altar call. I want you to pray for those that need healing in their bodies, but also healing in their heart from depression. Yes, Will you sir. pray in Jesus' name for all those that are watching with a heavy yes, heart? Sir. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Dear Lord, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for this night, Lord. I thank you for all the things that have happened today. I thank you for this video, Lord. I just ask that, uh, whew, that you be with the people who are in need of healing, God, whether it's in their heart, their mind, or physical body, Lord. I just ask that you heal them in the name of Jesus, Lord, that yes, you heal God. them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, God, to the crown of their head, to the soles of their feet, to the ends of their fingertips, Lord. I know that you can do it. If anybody can do it, you can do it because you died on the cross for us, God. Yes. And we thank you for this yes. day. We thank you for this night. We thank you for this ministry that's coming forth, Lord. And Lord, we just ask that you be in the midst of those who need you right now, God. We give you honor, God. We just ask that you be in the midst right now, God. Where two or more are gathered, you are in the midst, Lord. Uh, woo! <laughs> woo! One can send a thousand. Two can send ten thousand. Just imagine what a million can do. And you know what, God? We know that you do so many miracles every day, Lord. We just ask that you heal the ones who need you right now, Lord, whether it's in their mind, their heart, spirit or body lord i just ask that you heal them bring them to a better path lord it may be narrow but lord i just ask that you help them get there lord no matter where they are no matter where they stand no matter where they lay their head tonight that they are healed come morning god i thank you and i appreciate you god i thank you for peace i thank you for love i thank you for brothership i thank you for just all the things that you give us god we need to be like you and less like us god. Help us to walk like you, talk like you, and die to our flesh daily. We give you honor, God. We give you praise. We take it to that mighty throne of grace that you said we can come to anytime. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I love you, brother. I'll see you in the next broadcast. See y'all soon. God bless. Love y'all. God bless. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. <laughs>